back in Australia on a little resort town, a 1.2 kilometre race across a section of open ocean where you start at the pier, you swim across this bay to the pub on the other side. We're Australians. It's the pier to pub. Do you think it was going to work the other way around? <laughs> think you'd ever get anybody to swim from the pub to the pier? Doesn't happen that way. This race is huge. Every man and his dog who thinks he's a swimmer goes down to lawn that weekend to swim in the pier to pub. We're all getting in the water. I've just got my goggles on. I'm pulling on that stupid swimming cap, which you know, I, I so obviously need it. And bang, the gun goes off. 732 guys are trying to swim over the top of each other, all trying to get to the front. I'll tell you what it was like. It was like being in a washing machine. It was like being in a washing machine with 732 thrashing maniacs. I'm getting my goggles clawed off. I'm getting kicked in the face, which I'm really, really unhappy about because I can't kick anybody back. <laughs> obviously, I've obviously still got a bit of an issue about that. There are thousands, probably tens of thousands of people lined up on the beach to see the finish of this race. I get to the water's edge. I literally crawl out, claw my way along the sand out of the shallow water until I can sit up on the sand. And once I've got there, I start shuffling on my backside up the beach. I can tell you now, there were probably, out of that crowd there, there were probably a couple of thousand school kids there that day. And I can guarantee you now that there would be kids that were in the crowd on the beach that day that saw me shuffling on my backside up between those flags that have never been in the water since. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I took it pretty easy on them. It crossed my mind. I know, I, I consider myself a nice guy, but I thought about it. I thought about hanging onto my legs and rolling around in the sand screaming, shark! <laughs> but I cut them some slack. But I tell you, I'm, I'm sure there's some of them that have never been in the water since, I guarantee it. I gave some people on the beach that day something to, something to think about. I think I changed their reality a little. Because out of those 732 people, I came in at number 473. So I left 259 other swimmers behind me to have a bit of a think about it, that they'd just been beaten by this guy with no legs. Gave him something to think about. Tell you what, it gave me something to think about when I had a look at my time afterwards. I'd swum that race 10 years before, and I actually swam faster that year than I had 10 years before, which sort of tells you that my kick wasn't that great. <laughs>